Hey guys, welcome to Spotlights on Broadway. On this show, we bring you our favorite Nigerian celebrities who over the years we have come to love and the different things they do in their films. We put them on the spot to make them answer questions about their personal lives, secrets, scandals, controversies, and every single thing that would make them pop up on the internet. My name is Holly Mo, and we're going to be doing a short break. But by the time we come back, I'm going to be presenting to you who we have in the studio. Don't go nowhere. on the break I told you we're going to be having a very special guest in the studio this is somebody who is into R&B in fact he has one of the best voice I've ever heard of which R&B is one of the calmest genre of music we have in the world ladies and gentlemen I present to you Capital Femi Yay. <laughs> hello <laughs> hello how are you doing very well it's good to have you on the show it's great to be on the show thank, okay. you. thank you for having me all right, Femi. Um, what inspired you into picking R and B as what you want to sing in Nigeria? Um, R and B music for me, uh, the only thing that inspired that's the music I grew up listening to. Um, at a very young age, um, I was born here in Nigeria. A lot of people think I was born in America. Actually, oh. I was actually born here in Nigeria, born in Lagos. And um, my dad, my dad's a my dad's an ex pilot from Nigerian Airways, uh, from back in those days. So my dad traveled a lot so when he came back he brought in a lot of different songs other than the fella the sunny days uh then i was listening to stevie wonder um otis redding a lot of old r&b sounds so that's where it started for me and then at a young age when i moved to america i mean you can't be an american you don't listen to r&b music so that's where r&b music is oh, okay yeah. so you actually ended up loving r&b was it because that was like the only thing you were really hearing or no it wasn't the only thing i was hearing my, my dad was playing fella you know oh, okay. uh, king sonia day my grandmother she loves obey ebenezer obey oh. uh, chief ebenezer she loves so it was all i had a lot of different kind of music around me but r&b is what stuck for me oh, okay yeah. so how did you meet kenny's music kenny's music um in 2009 I haven't been home in a long time. I don't want to tell you how long. So um, I remember talking to my dad, you know, to come visit, just to come and visit back in Nigeria. So it was one of those things. I didn't think I would be signed to Kenny's music. It was just, it just happened. Um, had a few meetings with, with Kenny Ogunbe, and then from there, I got signed to Kenny's music, and hey, it's, it's part of history. Oh, okay. So, um, what really actually transpired between you and Kenny's music that led to you having to leave? I knew that question was coming. <laughs> um, the most constant thing in life is change. Okay. The moment you feel you can't change anything or you, you can't, the moment you feel that's not part of life, that's the moment you're dead. So, the most constant thing in life is change. So, for me, no issues with Kenny's music. Not, it's just... You have to, it's, it's like graduating from high school to university. You have to oh. move on to the next thing. That's what it, that's what it was. Okay. All right, guys. It's been fun having Capital Femme in the studio. We're going to be going on another short break. And by the time we come back, we'll have very deep questions to ask Femme. Don't go nowhere. The show is still spotlight on Broadway. We still have Capital Femi in the studio with us. Now, Femi, uh -huh. you know what used to you singing. You know you have a very beautiful voice. Femi. Thank you. So right now, I want you to do something you've not done before. Something I've not done before, yes. other than singing. Yes, I'm going to tell you what to do. Don't worry. Are oh, you going to tell me what to yes. do? Yes. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. So um, I want you to crack uh, a joke. You want me to crack a joke? Yes. Uh, no, nah, I'm not a comedian. That's why I said it has to be something you've not I've done never before. Never done before. I'm not. I'm funny, but I'm not funny on TV. Try. Um, Lord have mercy. Um, when did you, what happened? Knock, knock. Yeah, let me do a knock, knock joke. Yeah, yeah, Knock, knock. You're supposed to say, who is it? Who is it? Uh, your mother. Huh? Exactly. That's funny. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, no problem. So I want you to do something. That was funny. Yeah, that, funny. that was funny. You tried. I, 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 need to, I, I need to start doing comedy. That was fun. You think you're going to make a comment? I no, actually no. <laughs> Alright, so I want you to do something different apart from that. You're familiar with um, Frank Donga? Frank Donga, I think a little bit. He's... Get right here. 
Oh, get out of here. Yeah, my God. Get out of here. You're giving the accent. I'm supposed to do it with the accent? The way it is said. Get out of here. Seriously. I'm serious. That's the way it's said. That's how... I, I can't. I can't. All right, no problem. Moving on. Um, who would you say is your um, next rated between Liu Cash and Ricardo Banks? Oh wow, that 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 dilemma. Um, okay, truthfully, I think they're both next rated. Um, we all know Ricardo Banks took the award home, but yeah. truthfully, is um, for one of the big things for me is an award shouldn't be the end of all. Okay. For you in anything you do, just keep on working hard. At the end of the day, man, it's about the money, man. Forget all the awards, man. Anyway. Cause, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you can have you can have a head ease on your wall you want, but if your bank account ain't making sense, you, okay. need, you need to reevaluate. So at the end of the day, it, it's great. Uh, I, I think it's fantastic that the award shows like the head ease, which is very prestigious and everything like that. But at the end of the day, it's not the end of all. Okay. So, that's it. You still haven't asked. I haven't answered question. the question. Yes. I, I I gave a very political answer right there. No, know. just pick one. Okay, I prefer Leo Cash to Ricardo. I prefer. Actually, I like I like them both. Truthfully, um, I like Ricardo. I'll tell you why I like Ricardo Bank. Okay. I like Ricardo Bank because I think Ricardo Banks um, gives a lot of melody play, and I like Little Cash because Little Cash can get me dancing at any given moment. Can you do it? Yes. <laughs> what do you want? You want some shot? I got moves. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. So um, I'm going to ask you this. Um, yeah. If you're going to marry, mm -hmm. kill, and shag one of these three, just pick. Marry, kill, kill, and shag one of these three. Um, wow. Between Mahida, Kosi, and Yemi Alade. Okay, who would you marry? Yemi Alade. Shag. Okay, who would I? You see, I don't want to kill anyone because. No, you just. Okay, I'll marry Yemi Alade. Okay. I will shag a Mahida. Let's keep it real. Okay. And I'll kill a cousin. Okay, let me not go far back. Yeah, you need to stop. Like <laughs> Alright, so, um. You just, you just put me in so many trouble right now. No, it's cool, it's cool. It's, just, gonna, it's just me. Twitter's gonna be all up in the air right now. <laughs> Don't no worry, I'll have right. your back, don't worry. Right. Um, I was going to ask you this last question. Sure. Okay, so, tell me what you've never said on TV before. Something I've never said on TV before. Perhaps something we don't know about you. That I've never said on TV before. Um, I'm pretty much close to as an open book. My private life is my private life, you know, so I don't talk about that. But, okay, something maybe I've never really said on TV is... I'm not a big football fan. I'm a, I support Arsenal, but I'm a big American football fan, the New England Patriots. Oh. So a lot of people know that, and I also played football in high school in America. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I used to be twice the size. That's oh. Very big. Like very big. Okay. So what happened? Um, uh, Nigeria. <laughs> Everything is Nigeria. All right, so well, we still have Capital Femi in the studio. We're going to be going on a short break, and by the time we come back. Capital family still with us. Don't go nowhere. Guys, we still have Capital Femi in the studio. So, um, Capital Femi, yes. what is 2016? What are we supposed to be expecting from you in 2016? Uh, 2016. Um, 2016, I, I, it's, it's starting off as a great year already. Uh, one late 2015 last year. I dropped a single tumbo. Yeah, I was going to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. So I it dropped it dropped a single tumbo from um, now I'm on my own. Have an imprint with my partners called Three Six Music. Okay. So the first song we put off the label was tumbo, and now we're getting ready to uh, drop the visual for the video, uh, which will drop sometime any any time from now. Um, okay. So I'm I'm so really excited. I, I I actually I saw the video before I came here, and I'm so happy. It's uh, one of the best videos I've, I've, for me I've done so far. So really excited. So I'm dropping the video. And then also uh, I'm in the studio already recording new songs. Okay. And um, and uh, I'm excited too because we have a follow-up song already. So it's, it, God, God is good. A lot of really great things are happening this year. So oh, okay. already 
So, but the year is going to be, it's going to be an amazing year. Capital FEMI, the brand, you see more of the brand on TV. Okay. Uh, you see more videos from the brand. Um, you see me out and about at different functions and everything. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll probably cap it off with it. Um, Femi, who yeah. shot um, Tumbo? The Tumbo video was shot by a director. His name is called Mike, Mike the Myth. Um, actually, you've seen a lot of video from him. But he's the guy behind the scene. He's the one that does a lot of the editing of all these big videos you see. He's worked with the likes of Clarence Peters, Unlimited LA, okay. uh, the list goes on and on. So he actually shot the video um, for the Tumbo video. His name's Mike the Myth. Um, if I may ask, what does Tumbo really mean? Okay, Tumbo is actually something we made up. But it's, um, you know when you take a good sized rock and okay. you throw it inside, you throw it in, inside water. What? It makes that tumbo. So what tumbo means is tumbo is actually an expression of deep love. Oh. Um, so that's what tumbo is. So that's where we got uh, it from. So yeah. Okay. Now I need to ask you this. Yes. Have you ever had? Have you ever crushed on any female in of the course. industry? Of so course. who? 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 Tell me. Do you want me to list them? Uh, Genevieve. Okay. Rita Dominic. Okay. Um, I've had. Got I definitely. Everyone knows that I had a crush, a huge crush on Genevieve. I mean, I remember that was one of the first interviews when I came in two thousand nine. Genevieve, I, I've been watching Genevieve movies even in in America before I even ever met her. Um, at one time, I think everyone would had a crush at Omotola. At um, one time. So you had a crush on her too. Yeah, I had a crush on her too. Um, and you know, yeah, those were my crushes. Okay, so um, I'm going to ask you questions. You have to answer me as fast as you can. As fast as I can. Yes. Okay. No, thank you. No, um, um, um. No, um, okay. All right. All right, let's go. Shoot. Favorite color? Black. Oh, you already filmed. Okay. So you're supposed to answer me as okay. fast as you can. Okay, all right, great. Start again, start again. Last time. All right. Designer. You already failed. Because I, cause I have so many designers in my head. You're just supposed to just pick the one just that comes to okay. your head. All right, okay. This all is right. the last time. Okay, go. Okay. Crush. Genevieve. I did. I just, I just give it back. Tick okay. Tack. All right. Okay. Last time. Last time. For the last time. Yes. Okay. Perfect color. Black. Okay. I feel this. <laughs> exactly. All right. No problem. No problem. Have you ever had a male crush walk up to you? Have you ever been asked that by a male? Last question. Wow. That's a deep question right there on its own. That can get you about like fourteen years. But. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, truthfully, being being a musician, if you're in the line, like you do, and a lot of times I think we, we take the male crushes the wrong way. We think it's um, we think it's sexual, but actually it's not. It's they appreciate your work. So yes, I've had male crushes. I've had people that have come to me and say, "Man, bro, I love you. I love your music. You know, uh, keep on putting out good music." That itself is a male crush, but it's it's in it's in the right context, if you understand. You're trying to dodge my question. I'm not trying to dodge your question. Yes. You're basically what you're asking me has any guy ever come up to me and say, What's up? I didn't feel you. Yes. Like that. Yes. Actually, yeah, someone has. So, how did it feel? So, it, it wasn't anything strange. I was just like, Hey, bros. <laughs> now, woman, <laughs> all the way. Simple as that. You know, it's. I think a lot of times we, we try to pretend that these things don't happen to us. People, people. if someone's attracted to you, they're attracted to you, male or female. It's how you respond to it. And for person for me, I've had someone come up to me and say, Oh, no. I was like, No, bro, I don't go that way. Simple as that. And the person actually respected me. Simple as that. Okay, okay. All right, so, Kemi, if your fans want to reach out to you, you have an Instagram account. Yes, I do. If you definitely want to follow me and just reach out to me, you can follow me on all my social media handles, which is all Capital Femi. Simple. Facebook, Capital Femi. Twitter, Capital Femi. Instagram, Capital Femi. Email, Capital Femi. Everything's Capital Femi. So. So Femi, words for your fans. Words for my fans, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you from 2009 to 2016. I appreciate you because uh, it's not easy when a lot of times we forget. If you have no fans, <laughs> forget it. You're doing the wrong thing. So I, I truly appreciate you. I just want to know I'll always be my best at all times. And I always put out good music. I'll put out the music that I love. And I also feel that you can also love and enjoy. So thank you so much. And uh, 2016, let's let's start it together and end it together. And we'll definitely see 2017 together too. All right. Thank you very much. Thank I should you. thank you for joining us on thank the you. show. Thank you for having me. I, I really, really enjoyed the show. Very, uh -huh. very, very.
very, very chilly. I've, I've done a lot of different shows. This one is very relaxing and fun. Yay. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, so spot, Spotlight on Broadway is coming to an end. My name is Holly Moore, which I'll be joining you guys.